the clinic. Nkani mpanji so mwanya ugokora mwirwaru. Then afterwards I asked God. Kuna amarana abuzaru hanga. To give me my own place where would, and come out of renting. Kujirangwa mpere so mwanyo gwanje ndugo mkupanji sa. And God answered my prayer. Ruhanga ya garkamu ishara zanji. Uh, and so when I got the place, uh, I struggled actually to put up a building for the clinic. But in, my, in, in hearing, I heard in my heart that God took me to the scripture where he gave umkurra kwanje na huru mutuma kwanje nguru hanga kantwara yo ya mpecha handi shirukwe churu hanga ya hire abrahamu when god gave abraham land ruhanga kuya hire abrahamu itaka the first thing abraham did was to raise up an altar to him it's abrahamu ya manze kora no kwembe ka huitambiru so when i received that land kuna atu njire itakeryo i started with a small house which he I call I, I it, which was a no altar to me I raised up an altar na tanaka ho na yombeka henjunche kan na tamwitambiro then I had added a small room for myself to stay in nkabanyonjira kan kashenje kache kunda aturemu now after some time the clinic began kuna herze kutanaka ho clinic ejo irwaruro but he, I, uh, then God gave me even more land to buy. Ruhanga ya mpagani mataka gogura. Then he, out of that he, land, I... A better, a better house for God. Kuna heza ahitakeru mkama ya mpire na hechicheka akwanka nyenangu tuwembeke mu enjunu nji ya Ruhanga. But he... It's been a struggle. And it is still a struggle. Uh, the clinic didn't perform well. And uh, we, we are still struggling with the clinic. Which actually took me into dates, the dates. Kandi echo chat manazo mabanja. Our preacher was telling us. So it is still a struggle. But and I think maybe I did enough. May God help me to go deeper in prayer and see God's hand in it. Mgeni ni shangur hang base ko njero mukshavande mo mukono guarango murjechi. Amen. One of the prayers we'll, we are going to have is prayer for breaking the bondage of debt. Uh, let's be brief. Eh? Brief. Come Amina. Diana Kasatra from Kurgantunga from Tungamo. I thank God for this conference. It's my first time Kujahano. No more go to be here. I will, um, you forgive me, I will mix languages. Because I use Rinyarwanda, I'm Uganda and Munyarwanda. Praise the Lord. Thank God for all the words we started from here. I want to talk about forgiveness. I grew up with my father and my mother. But I, my mother, I was so much touched by my mother, hurt by my mother. So, he used to beat me, she used to beat me so much. Because I was a grown up girl among the, among the boys. He used to beat me so that I have wisdom. 
and was born again. A born again from revival that they were talking about. I grew up in a revival family. We got born again when we were young, but we couldn't understand. Uh, uh, one of the preachers said that parents used to get saved but could not teach their children the same so, way. I grew up with that heart, that bitterness. I, I started with that, that heart. I, I hated my mother. But, but I would recover it. When I, when I got married, I even brought clothes, but I felt still some, some, some pain. When I lost my husband, the pain was increased to, to, to the second time. Then, uh, uh, after so many years, uh, 2008, in 2008, I went to America. I spent eight years. But I still had that pain. When I came, I went, came back, that time I was staying in Rwanda. When I was in Rwanda, my current pastor, he taught about unforgiveness. I found, I forgave, so I, I got hurt a long time ago when I understood about it. My mother was still alive. In Ntungamo. I asked for grace. And he gave me the grace. We were happy. When she grew up, she grew up. I, I came and I took care of her. Until 2018 when she, she died. And she died when she had blessed me. She blessed me with the blessing of peace. Left me with the blessing of being in revival where I am now. I thank God for this conference. Because I have learned much. What my mother used to tell me before she died. How they would went to Gahini to preach the gospel. So, I'm also standing in the anointing of revival. I thank God for the servants of God, women and men. For teaching us these words of revival. Brief, brief, brief. Huh? Praise the Lord. Come and see me. I'm Winifred Wanyero. I'm called Mbany Fred Wanyero. From Mbarara, from Mbale. Nindugambarara, can you gana mbare? I thank God for the teachings we are having. Nisima Hanga, go kwejesa octuron to ejesiga. I'm talking about do two things, what I struggle with, and I just make a comment of the conference. Ningamba, I've been to be bidi ebi. I struggle with death. Uh, sometime last year, I lost my son. I have very many children. I didn't go for marriage, but I have raised children for my brothers and sisters. And this was like my last son. So I loved him so much. I cooked food for people. Before that happened, it just happened in one week and the boy died. I went somewhere to buy a chocolate and this woman didn't have a sack. I had 70,000 for the normal sack and for him he had... 
she mtwaro mushanju ze shije sha uyo nyine yijwire hazawe akabaye no bushaho buke mwenu yabujwanzya yaheza yakora yakora shinjikanana yakora shi mtwaro munana i told her me i came for the sack but the 10000 i will give you na mugira nti nyoni jani nyende shaho yona mwenu ga Mwenu na njango ntume tuwa nuhoto wa tesira. Aba sigara tujire mwabugi ira tutazo mbiringwa. Yes, I see mwe. Praise the Lord. Amazina ganja na nyendi chomu hendo skovi ya kandi kuruga rugwe shama. Amu chomu hendo skovi ya furumu rugwe shama. Kwa mkana nyendi nsima rohango wa wazze kunsingu ze chiniga. I thank God who delivered me from anger. Mkaba nyendi chiniga chinji munonga chiri kuenda nukunde mesakuli. I had a lot of anger that was 
that was even hindering me from getting saved. Habwo kuba no mukuza kujumwa kwanje ariho mukazuna birenchi nire konko mwe yori kwera yagumana nyamba. Even before I got born again there is a woman I was angry about but God kept on helping me. Naguma ninyenda ngontaka abasa no kumwakura konko mwe yori kwera yagumana nje makumwakura. I said I should not even greet that lady but the Holy Spirit forced me to do so. Akanje maguma ni mwakura omwizoba emirunde ebiri. The Holy Spirit forced me to greet that woman two times a day. And when I kept on greeting that lady, she also got saved. In the process of not greeting her, I got a scripture that was in, in Isaiah 59, how sin hinders God from working. When I saw that scripture, I said, God, forgive me. I'm also going to forgive her. Eventually, that woman got born again, and I also overcame that. Now I have a problem of debts. Now that God has brought his servants, pray for us so that we overcome debts. Praise the Lord. I'm Nabasa Zabela from Bugangari. I thank God for this conference. I thank God for this conference. I started seeing this conference in 2020 during COVID-19 lockdown. When we were in lockdown, praying in our houses, I was praying on radio with Pastor Miria. Whenever I would hear about Pastor Miria, I would continue, I would continue praying for the nation and all the people. In that prayer is when I got a vision from God. And God was telling me he's going to bring a revival in Rukunjiri. And he, he kept on telling me the next year. And when, whenever the year would be over, God would tell me I have postponed. And whenever you ask him, he says I'll postpone to the next year. But what he confirmed to me about the revival of Rukunjiri. He told me that the, in, the economy and the income programs will be boosted and people are going to be rich. And what God told me is going to wipe away our tears. What I've been fighting with, whenever I start a business, I start with the customers, and always God tells me to start such a business. There comes an enemy from my neighbor. The neighbor, my neighbor, where I do my business, starts fighting against me. The business dies and I go back to dates. And I've been struggling with it, but now that God, what he spoke has come to pass, I'm going to overcome. May God bless you. Praise God. My name, my name is Safi Bimuade. Those are my names. I come from Kenya. I Kenya. Yes, and I want to thank God. I was struggling, but I decided to seek the Lord. 
mbire ni sitana nembera konkana ashara mu kisheru raruhanga and my biggest burden ekizibu cyanje cyango was the church shibe kirye kanisa why is the church the way it is abwe nche kanisa ryo kweri and I, I was led to read the Bible word by word from Genesis to Revelation. Benu na yebemero kushoma Bibli echigamba chindi kuruka kutana kakika kushukurwa. As I reached and I was beginning the book of Psalms. Kuna beni shoma na tana keshita bocha zabuli. The voice came very clearly. Irakari sharuk shaboroka. Who is willing to serve God full time? No ha ora oya teka techi na kumpere zobi rebgona. I just told God here I am. Najira ruhanga nti mukama wanje ndyaha Because things in the church must change. Ahabwo kuba bintu mu kanisa ni bitekwa kwinduka. I don't know where to start. Konkati ndi kumanya hinda atandikire. And I was led to come here. Hati na yebemberwa kwijaha because I, I we were supposed to go to work outside the country. Akwati betu ine kuza kukora akora heru yihanga ryitu. I told them I cannot go I have to come to this conference and then I go. Konkana ajira ntindaze kukora niza kuzo mu rutera no mu Uganda. And I thank God I've been prepared. Ni sima ruhanga hati na mazire kutebeka misibwa. Preparation that I asked God to kandi nakutebeka nisubwa bwo muri mugo nkwenda kuzakora kama simwe rangas praise the lord I'm called Herzazadochi. I want to talk about prayer and waiting. And I want to tell you about burning the Bachez demons that we burn today. So listen to me. I got born again in 2007. And I sincerely got born again. And God gave me two gifts. The gift of prayer. And the gift of, of revelation and vision. It was 2013. I was in prayer and fasting. When I was in church for after two, three days, the voice came from me in church alone and a person hit on me. Called me by name and said, Military Zadoch, Military Zadoch for three times. From today, I have heard your prayer. I've given you a business in Rukunjiri. I had never been in Rukunjiri. I never knew Rukunjiri. 2014 up to 2016. 2016, God opened the door. I, I went abroad. And that dream to start a business in Rukunjiri, I ignored it. I went out and I worked, my children started. When my children were completing their studies, I thought coming back to Uganda. I have been outside the country for seven years and two months. When I, I, I thought coming back to Uganda, I thought when I come to Uganda, I become a money lender. Now when I came to Uganda, I filled documents and I got lawyers to, to be a money lender. That night when I slept, when I had prepared all the documents, 
The person who touched me 2013 came back. He touched me again and said, business. And he told me, Zadok, this is the time I told you, you go back to Kunja and start business. I came out of the dream, I looked around, I told my wife. I told her, whatever we're preparing, let's stop it, because the voice is telling me to go to Kunjiri. I slept again. The, voice, the same voice came and told me in the morning, go to the road. The first car that comes, you'll find such a kind of a man. That car is going to Kunjiri and that man is also going to Kunjiri. When I entered the car, I found that very man God told me. I asked that man, I asked him, is this the bus back of Rukunji? He said, yes. He told me he was not from Rukunji, he was from Kampara, but here was a visitor. Then I asked him about the houses to rent. He brought me the brokers in the tax park. I wanted to let you know that when you pray, God speaks. That day, I could not get a house. That day, I went back to Ntungamo. That day the voice came back and said, Don't trust people, it's me talking to you. Go to Rukunji and ask the church called Old Saints Church. And the houses I'm directing you belong to All Saints Church and it is a solid building. It is now finished. Go and get a house there. That morning I called the broker that I'm coming with my wife. I found a broker there when we were about to set off. Our broker, we told him that now let's tell you the truth. For us, we are born again. The Spirit of God is telling us that we are going to be in the whole horse, in Old Saints Church. Houses. So, where is the Old Saints Church? Sorry, sorry. When we asked him, he said, Oh, Munsasre, I have remembered that Orsens Church has houses that they are renting. Kutuizre tu are tu amanda ataka tu gani na maju ninja na mchentera mashogi ranga kunyore kanag. When we were coming to Orsens, I showed him the houses. He said, "These are the houses that God is showing me." Kuna kuna amgambi recho ya njira tamba shunuga gun gun gun. When I showed him, he said, "It is true. These are the very houses." Karabano mukazu anje tu agubiza. Amu tu azomu Orsens Church tu harami amukama tu asima. We went to Orsens Church and we praised God and we thanked Him. Kutwa shiro wa wadini wadini wadini. When we went to the person in charge. He told me to go and look for the chairman. The chairman is the one who is Dr. Chris. He told me to go to Dr. Chris. He told me to go to Dr. Chris. And God directed us to Dr. Chris because God had showed him to me and he was the chairman of building at all saints. He told me to go to Dr. Chris. He told me to go to Dr. Chris. He told me to go uh, we wrote an application because everybody was applying for those houses. We also applied and went back. And the Spirit of God told us that you go and occupy that house. And go trade in plastic items and pray for my people. And right now, we are dealing in plastics 
in all sets church houses. So when you are here, Let's clap for God. Let's be brief. I told my wife, I'm not going back. She kept on calling me that someone wants you here at the show. When I reached there, I found a, a woman. When I laid hands on that woman, demons confessed and manifested and, and went away. When I left here and I slept, God showed me climbing a, 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 a tall hill. And people were are running saying, you have come to burn us, we are the Bachese demons. And said, chase us to go back to our places, to our waters. There is a brethren who are seated here. And the right all the Bachese demons from the lakes and from the mountains and hills. When we said that them go back to the lakes, I said I would burn them. Let's burn all the Bachese demons. When they said we go and burn the Bachese demons, I was the first. I want to tell you in the name of Jesus, you have overcome. May God bless you. It's a long story. It's, a, it's a so many testimonies. I'm called Atulinda Scovia. I'm called Atulinda Scovia. The, the servants of God who came, they came for me. Whenever I would pray, God would tell me to pray for the nation. I was not minding so much about it even when I would pray. I thank God because today he has answered my prayer. I was yearning for it. When I wanted to go back home, God told me, you have not yet finished your duty. Told me, I brought you people to work with you. It is now done. What, what, is, what, always, what I always struggle with. I stand in the scripture of of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and Psalms 89 and the agreement that God made with David. I'm a preacher of the gospel and I move nations far. I came from Kazo for six years but I started God telling me to, to work on the lords of the church, on the, on the access lords of the church. And when you say God has sent me, they say she, she, she is demon possessed by the church demons. When I'm preaching the gospel, they say, you poor, what are you preaching? I'm a preacher of the gospel, and I preach the gospel. Uh, what they said, money gets me out of, the, out of the spirit. When God sends me, I first go to look for money and it causes me not to do the work of God as instructed. And when they, what they say that we are 
so much engaged in our works, it is true. God always sends me to preach the gospel. But I said, let me first dig. I pray that God will give me a way and I get the money. May God bless you. May God Let's clap to God and we give him the glory. I'm um, Evelyn from Kanyabanga. From Mitoma district. I have wondered about the working of God. Even when you suffer up and down, at one time God will reveal what He has revealed to you and will you come to pass. I would hear about the program of Barara. But God helped me and I reached that stadium. And God brought the 10 buses written on Uganda police. They took me and brought me back. And God revealed to me many people. And showed me the roads and many motorcycles. And many people walking on foot. He didn't show me what was going to be done. And that was the year 2017 in June. Yes, 2017. When I was there, I used to hear about the stadium of Rukunjin in Watts. And God brought this previous conference we had with the whites. God gave us cars and they transported us to here and back. And back. I said, God, thank you. Now God has brought this again. Brought the servants of God. And he has fulfilled the dream I had. And God told me to go and get prayed for. I get healed and I preach the gospel. I thank God for that. Thank you, servants of God. May God enable you. I sleep in the in, in, I sleep in the church of Bishop Okero. Thank you for taking care of us in peace. Whoever has offended one another, forgive one another before you go. I had. I I I, I was I I I had. Vengeance with my brother, but I've forgiven him. Because the gospel is told us to forgive one another. So that we can pray, the prayers go, go to God. May God bless you so much with all. Amen. Amen. I thank God for this conference. I came when I was sick. But now I'm healed. I'm a woman of ten births. I have nine children. I have been having bitterness and anger for the last three years. And I've been, and I'm a, I'm a pastor. We had a challenge with, as a family. By now, my wife is in prison. My, 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 my husband is in prison. Hallelujah. 
My husband has been in prison for a year. We have nine children. One, one went. When we went to court and when you see on the documents, there is no case against my husband. My, my husband beat, slapped the neighbor and they put him in prison. That he has damaged. In all that, those who accused him, I was so angry. Even when I'm serving, I don't forgive. But when they were teaching yesterday, taught us about forgiving. Just. For, for, for the, um, the mother of this baby, or, or for that matter, father also, the parents of this baby, turn and they see the child. Oh, stand here. Abazire bomwano go ba chichire. Please, the parents of this child. Abazire bomwano go. The baby needs you. Okay, thank you. Omwana na betenga muishe munga chire. Nyabo chirogi rare romare. Mbuyano murgecho. In that. Ruhanga gambere nani. God has spoken to me. Omwana muenda buni ne. Out of the nine children I have, four are in, already in secondary school. Wherever they are studying from, it is God paying their fees. When they imprison the husband, the, the, the teachers would call me, don't pay fees. And those five in primary, God told, the head teacher told me, to always bring only 120,000. When they started teaching about repenting, God talked to my heart. That the, 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 the release of your husband is after you have forgiven those who are choosing him. Because the work that he was doing to take care of the children, it is me, God, that is doing it. And why shouldn't you forgive them? That's why I'm here. And I said the revival that has come, it has come for my life and for my family. May God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for this conference. It has done me great. I am 38 years. From the time I was born, I never knew my mother. They told me I was born from ginger. And somehow we stayed in Kampala. Then after Kampala, we went to Nyacheny in my village home. I grew up from there, from P, up to P7, senior four, I went back to Kampara. I kept on asking my father, where is my mother? I feel like I should know how my mother looks like. And my mother kept on telling me, your mother, your mother abandoned you, why do you want her? And I said, if God wishes, I will see her. If he doesn't wish, then it's okay. 
na aberugaho na na zokuonga kumbi ni sima kushara storage kujisho mugufu kumbi ndiyo ho. But when I was there, ni shome sabu gongera muna yendi gongera. I teach at gongera secondary school when I was in gongera where I teach. Muna yena rugo mukira na muna mzara wa njoma kuntera. I got my cousin who was calling me. Ati na ora ready or kunjiri. Omukaza kuteresi ya jirangu na rondomu anawe ati nwa mweta Brian Junior. And the woman was calling on radio kunju saying that she's looking for a wom, a, a, his son called Brian Junior. And he told me she's called Ruth Nyanjara. So, nyona I said this, that is my mother. Then I asked him, didn't you get the phone number? He said, I didn't get the phone number. I said, if it is ready or kunjiri, it is okay. I have some people, you know, I call desire to give me the number. And then he sent me the, the numbers of the person who was in the studio. I called and he could not pick my call. So Then he got him, then I, they, they sent me the numbers. And she, I called him and told me, we are in playground. I was seeing these posters. I would read on them, they said there is the reopening of wells. I thought it is Pastor Kakwere bringing the same conference of the reopening of the wells. I said I'm going to get time. I go there and pray. I said, hey, when he looked for me and I couldn't, he couldn't get me, he decided to go to the playground. Then she said, there is, there is a conference, you come over. I kept on calling, I kept on calling. And she's here, now I, ha I know my mother. Let the mother come over. Nina Wom Nina wa Brian Gwaijo Misha. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Mama ngo hika ha. This is what God can do. Ebi ni bjoro hangaru kubasa kukora. And this is a sign of children coming back to their parents. And parents coming back to their children. This is a prayer we are here. And we want to bless the Lord. This is not just another meeting. God has brought us a sign. Ruhanga ya turetera kamanyiso. That is now, you know, joining families. Hati ariona agarra kwata gan samaka. Can you imagine since he was born, he has never no seen it until today. And right here, you are blessed, Lord. You are blessed, Lord.
I'm going to ask the national coordinator to pray and give thanks to the Lord. Ninza kushaba omushuganisa wihangari yona shabe aherize ruhange chitinisa. And receive this that God is doing us with this but elsewhere. Echi chachire echi ruhangari yona akora tabgaba kurekana na handi hona. I don't even know how to begin. You, you look at their faces. Even if it was only for these two to reunite, God would have brought us from Arua, from Karamoja, from wherever. I was just telling chairman, it is very strange to hear that somebody doesn't know their mother. It's usually fathers who disappear. Now, I, I haven't asked for your name. You are? You are Ruth. She's called Nyanjara Ruth. Ruth, do you have something you think you need to tell us so that we can pray? She's saying yes. He even has children. Brani Aine Nabana. This is like a resurrection from the dead. If this is not revival, then what? My sister Ruth, are you a believer? Ruth, which is eh? You're born again. Warokochire. Did you have any idea that you had grandchildren? <laughs> Come again. She has grandchildren. Did you have Obire no chimanya ngo inobe no chiteka teka ho ninga chiryo mgo ngo ngo inabijuguru. That no.
God is going to restore families. Uhanga na zaga na zaga rabu sebi into ginji. Na zaga rabu samaka. Do you know his father? Isha no mumanya. Yes, you know where she knows. he is. No manya hari. You don't know where Takamanya. he is. I'm going to ask you some private questions. When, when did you part ways with his father? When he when he when That's when they separated with the husband. 1996. 86. 86. Wow. Brian, you said you're 30. 38. 38. That's just an infant. Brethren, this lady Ruth separated with her husband in 1986. Lucy is. 87. Ruth na jirangu akatana niba Omurukumi rwenda chinana na mushanju 87 I was younger than this Chinana na mushanju nkandi mutonko musiga zogwe 87 I was 9 I was 9 Kanyi ne myaka mwenda ubwo bwire And had you been looking for him? You, you did not look for him. Uh, she's saying she had never tried to look for the chafodi for, for her son. Why? Abwenchi? She, she had nowhere to start from. She never knew their home. And she never had any phone contact. So the, the then husband ran away with the child. Is that so? Yes, I see my same. Praise the Lord. Brethren, do you know that I was in the church in 1986. I met this, this man, the father Brian. Ginger. When you were in Ginger. Na kora um supermarket ni kora mkatani. That time she wa, he was working in the supermarket. I was working in the market. Tua nyuana. And we we met we met friends. Na tuungeenda. And I got pregnant. Na zara. And I produced. Na ikara na we. We stayed together. For nine months, I didn't stay with this child for even a year. After nine months, we couldn't agree. The father was working in a supermarket. You see, the supermarkets were closing at night. There is a night she, he came at, the, at 2 a.m. and was drunk. I asked him, does the supermarket close at 2 a.m.? And he was so angry. Ayomba. And he quarreled. He, he, he tried to beat me. Why I was asking him such a question. So I cooled down. From that night we couldn't agree. The next night he, she, he came back a drunk. That night, I couldn't ask. He started alone. Kuyomba. Started quarreling. So we couldn't agree. He wanted to beat me up. I said, don't beat me. And they told me that if he beats you, beat you badly. I came out of the house with a child. 
Because in Jinja, I didn't have any relatives. I only had friends. I went to my friends. I spent there two days. I couldn't get what to feed the child because I was not working. I was working in a market, but when I now escaped, I couldn't go back for work. When I came, I found that my husband had There were people from Yashena, they told me they come from the same village. I said the child is crying. I don't have money. There is no milk for the child. Then he mobilized the men and they wanted to beat me up. With all that anger, I said, let me leave this child here. I have nothing to feed the child. And the, what I did, I left the child there. I went and slept. At night, I asked myself, surely have I abandoned my child? I went back, I wanted to go and see my child. I found he had shifted the child to his brother. I asked him, where is the child? He told me, you left the child, you not get the child again. From that time, he hid the child. I went back, I asked, where is the child? He told me again that you not get this child because you abandoned her. Here. I left the child, I stayed there for some time. They showed me where the child was, was in his brother's home. Those people, they never had the authority to give me the child. I would go there still three. When he discovered that I had known where this child is, they shifted the child again to another place. From that time. From the time of yesterday but one, I had never seen this child. I thank God. Because of this conference, I thank God. Because of the group of our coordinator, Nero Francis, they started a prayer school in Fort Potro. I joined them when at cathedral. I started praying with them. I thank God. Because of the prayer school. For this national coordinator broke. From that time I've been with them. Up to when I came here in Rukunji. And I have seen my child. Um, brethren, in the interest of the time we have, we are not going to go into other details. Certainly, this process has just begun. It's a long process. But now that she has heard what she heard, we're going to give her a chance to ask the Lord for mercy. And uh, we will, she will also ask her son to forgive her. Now you have the next generation there who were clueless about their grandmother. I want you to talk to your son. 
And please understand that this is happening now as a sign of what God is doing in this nation. In restoring families. No one should ever deny a child the right to know their parents. Under so, you said you saw him yesterday. Is it yesterday? Tuesday, the first day of the conference. The first day of the conference. Do you remember what I was saying about the prophetic significance of that day when we raised the altar? It is a day of recreation. And that was when we talked about family. So if you do not believe or you have not believed that God's eye is on the family in this season of revival, those of you who have wives or husbands whom you have left, you don't know your parents, you don't know your father, your mother, for whatever reason, begin to believe God. God for restoration. There is nothing beyond repair. There is nothing that we have to fix. So I'm going to give Ruth to talk to her son. You speak to your son. What is in your heart as a mother? And son, you're going to respond to your mother. Allow us the privilege to witness this reunion. The other details the Lord will help us handle. I hope you, you will understand the, the terms. Please talk to your son. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Please talk to your son. Don't <laughs> tell us hallelujah. Your son. <laughs> mm, Brian, you know, I'm going to say that I'm going to say Brian, even though I left you, you remain on my heart as my child. I tried looking for you, but your uncle told me, I told you that you never get this child. What, they, what hurt me, they told me you died. I kept on praying and I would tell people that I have a child. I did praying. I said, God, I want to see my child. I got the year when my child was born. I made it to when he bought my phone, I told, her, I, I told him, do you know the year you were born? That is the password of my phone. And that is how it was, and that is what shows that you have been on my heart. But God is faithful. You should not stop praying and you should not stop having faith. Because God is faithful. 
Lakini hali nyowe kibe kita kusoboka. Chonka habu wangu ya hangiri guru nesi. No kumusera muna no kuikiriza. When you seek him with faith, Azokere. He rises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yachira mtabani wawe. <laughs> Brian, I request you to forgive me. Hakuba atatunga love, atatunga love yom zaire nka mama. Because you never received the mother's love as the mother takes care of the child. You didn't get that love. I request that you go on. Because I never wanted it, it was the schemes of the devil. But God is faithful. Amen. Amen. Mami, I have forgiven you, Mami. Because it is not you, it was because of anger which always happens. And you told us you wanted to be with me. But my father hid me. So, now that I have got to you, my prayer has been answered. Because I also prayed about it. For her, she knew some of the relatives, whenever you would ask, they would tell me, why do you want your mother? She abandoned you. And so whenever she I try to ask that now we are, we are in Jinja. It is now near. Kampa, Kampara. Now we are in Kampara. It is near Jinja. Can't I trace and, and I get my mother? They told the man, shut me up and said, why do you want your mother? Time has gone, has passed by. You should leave that alone. So, Konka, I give back it, the glory to God and I thank God for this conference. I've been coming to this playground also praying for volley. So, it was a good calm. I don't know, I can't even explain it. Just I thank God for this, for this conference. All the glory back to God. Okay, I would like us to, men, men, fathers, please turn. Abashija, please Father, father, stand up. Abashija, 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 you know you're a father of a child somewhere. Fathers, Abashija, look at the shame we are in. Leva etshware chiturimu. And this is not an isolated case. I know other families where men hijack children and now this level of wickedness we must take responsibility Fathers, we don't know his father but you are a father I am a father 
Can we stand in that place? And first of all, acknowledge our evil ways. How, how we abuse mothers, our wives. I mean, these are the things we have to own up to in this season. We may never have the opportunity to even meet his father. But can we stand before God and with God for mercy? How many are like Brian who have grown up without knowing mothers or fathers? How many are like her who have been denied the right to their children? And this is because of us men. Father. Those of us who are near here, please come. Come here. The fathers who are near here. Come. Please, please stand here. Not every man, fathers. Okay, this, this, this are enough. I'm going to ask the one with authority in this land. To represent us. Number one. Mze. You're going to ask God for mercy. On our behalf. Ask that the Lord forgives us. And you're going to ask Ruth. You're going to acknowledge that we have done her. I don't even know what words to speak. In just this level of evil, I don't know how to express it. And you're going to ask Brian to forgive us as father for denying him his mother. And I'm going to kneel down on your behalf. On behalf of his father, on behalf of her husband. This evil must stop brethren somebody has to take responsibility it cannot, it cannot continue in our generation no. fathers let's kneel Kaltan. <laughs> Okitirango <laughs> 
atakigenderire ngo abure ahabwa bazirebe ko kutana akagenda akamutsigaho umukaza kasiga umwana umwana akakora takumanya nyina mbwe nari yari zo bamukamara ngo ubushobozi bwona twabazora twababona baherezo kumanyana baherezo garaka bakakwatanisa herezo umukazogu okusasira umwana uyasiga ya musikireho na wakigendereye akamuna akamunagirishye konka tata nyamuhanga ntumushaba umushabe umuho kusasira umuho kukunda umuho kugumana ateka teka hamwana we ebire bya mazara tamwe emyaka ya mazara tamwine amusasire ahabo kwakata gendereye ngo akikore Brian ni ngushaba Shija, and Lukshava Brian Nazumbi Jayasho Inkshava on Sassy Abukona on a Sanyoko Akakunag Iwamcha and Inkshavango on Sassy Abukona on a Sa Okanaka Homan Ninvaro Junan is the ubokwikiriza ngo iki kikabaho ahabwanyo sasa sasa bran sasa ruthi sasa rohanga sasa Have mercy. ta na kusasira icya kuzuru kari yamani gastani konka irizo atwagenda na ina kusasira koko wasasira we na ina kusasira kama na jota sasi utasasa ni utasasirwa amen chomure chetsabe let us pray Father, we thank you for this moment. The moment of restoring family. As men, we take responsibility of what we have done. Mistreating our wives. Mistreating our children under the influence of alcohol or any other thing we have done, we have treated our wives wickedly and our children wickedly. This evening 
You have shown us a sign of what you are doing to restore families. We receive this restoration. We receive the restoration of man to his position. Of husbands to their position. Of wives to their position. And children to their position. Lord, you spoke to us earlier in the book of Colossians. How you want to restore families. You restore love. From husbands to their for their wives. Ahabashija Navakaziba. Restoring wives in submission to their husbands. Garraho Okoro Bakwaba Kazi Ahabashija Bab. Fathers loving their children. Abash Aban Abi And not provoking them to anger. Kan Kutarukuba Kora Kubi. Children obeying their parents. Abana Korobaba Zirebab. So that their days may be long. Mystery, uh, uh, employees and, 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 and servants being to their, to their masters. Today we we'll receive a new beginning. For families. For marriages. Because families are the foundation of the nation. We, we receive love for one another. We receive forgiveness. We receive submission. You say submit you as one to each other. We will submit one another. We will love each other. You will be God in our lives. You will be Lord in our lives. You will be Lord in families. You will be King over our lives. You will restore our children. Some of them who are wayward now. Because of what has happened in families, we pray you restore them, Lord. Restore their hearts, Lord. Deliver them from drugs, from, from, from alcohol addictions, from, from prostitution, from depression. Some of them are about to commit suicide because of what is happening in their family. We pray that you arise, O God. You release your blessing. You release your power. You release peace. You release reconciliation. You release hope to those who are losing hope. We choose to love our wives back. We choose to love our children back. Just like you love the church. We will pay the price for it. We will pay a price for our families. Men will arise. Men arise. Take your position as priests. We bring back our families back to you, Lord. We will reconcile our families back to you. We will disciple our children. We will teach them the ways of God. We will teach them the fear of the Lord. We will wash our wives with the word. We will keep them. Will not divorce them. Because you hate divorce. You hate the man covering himself with violence. We choose not to be violent anymore. We refuse the spirit of violence in families. The spirit of violence we cast it out. In the name of Jesus. We speak peace. 
Ranjura we speak joy. Ranjura we speak kindness. Ranjura we speak love. Ranjura kunda. We speak a man loving his wife. Ranjura a wife loving her husband. Bless our families, Lord. Bless Ruth. 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 She is reconciled back. Yagaruka. Lord, she is a, a woman. No Even her name speaks prophetically. She is back. Yagaruka. Reconciling. And she's saying, Kanajira. My husband's God will be my God. My, 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 my inroads. God will be my God. We will see the Ruth is in our, in our nation. They will be reconciled to God. Our children will reconcile to God. Husbands will reconcile to God. We will see Brian. Brian. Restored back to family. We receive the grandchildren into the family. And that is the total family. We will teach them the ways of God. We speak Psalm 78, verse 1 to 8. We will teach them the ways of God, the laws of God. The commandments of God. What we have learned from our parents. We'll teach them to our children. So that even they will teach them to their children. And to their children's children. In all generations. We thank you Lord. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.